Welcome back to What the Flip. I'm your host, Victor Vogel. What the Flip is up with everybody who believes Donald Trump is not lying. That's next. In an interview on CNN, Chris Cuomo asked Kaylee McEnany, Trump's press secretary, whether Trump has ever lied to the public. Here's her response. Kaylee McEnany, do you believe this president has ever lied to the American no, people? No, I don't believe the president <laughs> wow. has lied. Let's take a look at a couple of uh, lies that Donald Trump told just recently at the G7 uh, meeting, um, primarily during a press conference, but also at other points uh, in the meeting uh, to news outlets. Uh, the first one had to do with Melania and how Melania, he reported Melania had met with Kim Jong-un and uh, she felt the country could prosper very well. Uh, the only problem with this is uh, Melania has never met with Kim Jong-un. Um, her travel schedule is pretty much available to the press most of the time. Uh, and research into it shows she's never met him. The second one had to do with transfer of money to Iran, uh, something like $18 billion or whatever that amount was that was sent to Iran in cash uh, during the Obama administration. And, and Trump was saying that basically we just gave that money away and we didn't get anything for it. Uh, making you believe that it was just a free gift to Iran from Obama, but in fact is uh, the money was due uh, under a previous uh, uh, deal with Iran and was part of loans and other kinds of things that were due Iran and had come due for payment. What Obama did do, however, is convert that to uh, cash payment and consequently uh, he sent that over on one, not several uh, 757s like Trump said. He sent it over on one cargo plane uh, to Iran uh, and tied it to them signing the nuclear deal. So we got a uh, a deal from Iran saying they would uh, control uh, their nuclear development. We could look in on that. Now, what is the big uh, lie that just recently surfaced in the last day or so is that um, Trump said that China had called him and said that they wanted to do a deal on this trade war, that he felt very good about the call. The only problem is when querying the Chinese government, they had not heard of it. The foreign minister had not heard of this call, or any calls for that matter. And the fact is, the calls were fake. Now, what the Trump surrogates want people to believe is that Trump doesn't lie. He simply makes ridiculous statements. They cannot be backed up with facts. And the White House often has to come back and rephrase. This is typical of cult leadership. I know, because I was a victim of a cult environment for several years. Cult leaders use positions of power, for example, the presidency of the United States, a pastor of a church, or the head of an organization like the NRA, to give credibility to lies or misstatements. This is known in the leadership world as positional power. In other words, if a person holds a position of power and influence, then whatever they say must by definition be the truth, even though the facts contradict the statement. People in these positions often attain them because of their charismatic character and initial likability. As time goes on and people become aware of the cult leader's behavior, they still may stay attached because of fear. Perhaps the leader knows and could say something about someone. They're influenced with other people that could hurt followers. Or maybe it's fear because the cult leaders perceive to have some specific gifts like an all-knowing relationship.
relationship with God, which God then could come down upon your head if you disobeyed the cult leader or show disrespect. Or maybe it's political pull with a large base of voters, even though there is no truth to the claim. Followers often don't take the time when they are mesmerized by the leader to find out for themselves the truth. They're often intimidated by other members of the cult and the leadership takes advantage of that and uses those other members to stir up the pot. Hey, but don't take my word for it. Cult scholar John Joe Lalek is a former Fulbright scholar. Dr. Lalek is a professor of sociology at California State University, and she has her master's in human development and PhD in human and organizational systems from the University of Santa Barbara, California. She is a researcher, author, and educator specializing in cults and extremist groups with a particular focus on charismatic relationships, political, and other social movements. She's been a consultant to education, mental health, business, media, and legal professional, as well as having worked with current members, former members, and families of members of controversial groups. And I'm going to put a link to her uh, in the description of this podcast. Dr. Lalek said, the people around Trump and the Republicans in Washington absolutely kowtow to him, either out of fear, they're going to anger him, or out of adulation. That behavior is very typical of a cult. The website Cult Research about a year ago reported Senator Bob Corker, a Republican from Tennessee, stating that he was openly worried that his party was quote, becoming a cultish thing, close quote. Senator Corker's statement carried considerable weight at the time. Dr. Lalek thinks Senator Corker has hit upon something. Cult leaders rely on their charisma to sway followers and to believe in whatever they say, regardless of obvious facts. It is the appeal that drives members to believe whatever the cult leader says out of a desire to please them, or often out of fear of what could happen without the leader. Now, this is my belief, and it doesn't represent others' points of view. However, given the consistency of others like Senator Corker and Dr. Lalek and others I haven't listed, my perception that Trump does lie and the reason others vehemently support his lies is that he's created a cult-like environment in the White House, GOP, and his supporters. The sad thing is people like Kayleigh McCanny will continue to sing the praises of Trump and ignore all the obvious video evidence that he lies and lies to support his own narcissistic need to be adored. The good news is, like many cults, they represent a minority of the population. It is obvious because Trump has used the public platform of the presidency to display his obvious lies, ignorance, and total incompetence that this is beginning to backfire on him. Like me, once you get the facts hammered at you long enough, you begin to question, and that's when a cult leader will turn on you as Trump has turned on Fox News. The answer to the question is Trump lies, and he lies for his self-serving reasons. Unfortunately, he fell into a niche where it's difficult to extract him from the position, but we can continue to expose him to his followers for what he is, and that is a dangerous cult leader. As always, my opinions are my own and don't reflect those thoughts of anyone else. Until next time, I'm your host, Vic Vogel. Stay safe and take time to love those close to you.